Oh, what the hell is that? What the hell is that thing? Welcome back to Unlike Killer K Gaming, guys. Today we have a very special video that I've been wanting to get into for a while. This is the Voidness, and a little background on this: I was actually given the Steam key by the developers himself, which is Steel Krill. So shout out to you guys, y'all are awesome. Um, I will leave their link in my description for the game on Steam, and make sure you guys go check them out. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Graphics are pretty. Medical injury, Med Bay, Francesca Lee, 39 years old, 1998, English. List chief symptom of order severity. We had trauma still recovering in Med Bay. Concussion might occur. Infection from damaged particles from the crash, such as shin, such as hand and arm. Left knee injured, might which might recover quickly from. Okay, can you get up? We gotta find a key or something. Oh. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Where is everybody? What happened to your crew? Wow, this spaceship is like derelict. It's crazy. Oh, it's my locker. Okay. Oh, my sweet baby boy. I will be back home soon, as promised. My beautiful son, I love you. Aww. Hey, what's that? Interesting. Throw mechanics. I like that. All right. Oh, you can hide under dust like this one in any case as you need to. Oh, here we go. That's never a good thing. Mission briefing. Eight personnel with the NSAS space space specialists will be ongoing the mission to explore the unexplained void on a newly found planet called Tenebris. A Tenebris, which is named after the Latin word darkness. The void is still in its early development studies, but from early tests, it seems to be some kind of another dimension that is reported to be filled just with just gloom. Two bases have been set up with equipment for all the personnels involved such equipment involve involves for example what the scientists call the rangefinder which is a device that can act as a passageway into the gloom by spreading particles which will allow people with the naked eye to see it is still to be said if it leads to anywhere or if there is any life within it the space specialist will be studying its existence and report back in a few years time two bases will be set up the first base will be located at the south area and consists of two sectors which is sector one and two the second base will be set up north area approximately 3.7 miles away both bases will be in direct communication with each other base okay so this is a list of all the people and i was on a oh this is no that's not true i'm a former astronomer interesting okay so we know we can hide under tables which is not a good thing but it's a horror game Sector door's oh. power is off here too. I have to get through that door. Fine, broadcast. Maybe, maybe I can contact base two and see what the hell is going on. Okay, let's go try to figure it out. Last panel such as these can be broken by throwing something at them. Oh yeah, smart, big brain. Find the code to open the story room. Okay. We don't want to get copyrighted now, bro. Turn that off. What the hell happened here? Everybody did. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. Oh. 
Professor Brian? Excuse me, yo. Anyone here? Screwdriver. Nice. You found a screwdriver can be used to open vent. What? Already? So they wasted no time, bro. I don't know what to expect with this game. I know it's, it's scary, but I have not seen any gameplay at all so i don't know this is gonna be just as much of a surprise for me as it is gonna be for you guys if you guys haven't seen it yet but i know i just saw something walking past it has to be something that i missed somewhere oh maybe there let's get this open yeah baby These sounds are so scary because it's hard to tell who's mine. I mean, what's mine if it's something else, but I know that it's scary. It's very loud in my headphones. Why it's not letting me do it? Okay, so we got, I believe that's a power, sector two power. Let's head on over to sector two, baby. Hello? This is like a slow burn. Like I know there's something in here. They toying with me, bro. They toying with my feelings. Fuck, oh, man. Can you stop turning on? Hey. Oh, I don't know the code for this. What happened, bro? Come in, base two. This is base one. Come in, base two. This is Francesca Lee. Something bad is happening in base one. Damn it. It's not working. What is all this plant stuff, bro? Never kind of like this has to be like some alien. Alicia's card. Hmm. Huh. Holy moly, I am terrified, bro. I'm about to wake up my wife and my daughter because I know I'm about to scream. And just to let you guys know, I always play my horror games at night because it's the only time that I can record. You can't imagine, I'm the only one that's awake right now. I'm scared of death. I think her, her locker was here, wasn't it? Alicia, hell. Yo, she got mad stuff in here. Code change to 6871. My name is Alicia Hell from Base One. I am one of the six space specialists that were sent out to study the mysterious void on a newly founded planet that we call Tenebris, which is a Latin word for darkness. We know this already. The void is still in its early development, but from early from early tests, it seems to be some kind of another dimension that was reported to be filled just with gloom. This mission, however, is unsuccessful. There have been an unexplained tremors, which led to unexpected shutdowns in our base. The tremors have also damaged one of our sectors and injured one of our crewmates, Francesca Lee. She's recovering in the med bay. The damage from the tremors and shocks that have been occurring has led to open contamination in our base where one of our other crewmates, Philip Callahan, had been contaminated. It happened also quickly. By the order of Professor Bryan, we had to lock Philip Callahan out to stop him from spreading the infection. I still hear his screams and cries as he kept banging on the doors to let him in. Until he couldn't no more. Until he was stiff. We are out of options. The tremors keep on occurring, which can lead to more sectors being damaged and spread contamination in our base. Our broadcast radio to communicate with base 2 has been damaged, so we cannot get a hold of the others. The exit door has also been heavily damaged, so the only way to open it up is manually with a valve wheel. Our only option is to venture inside the void and make our way to base 2. That's our only chance. As instructed by Professor Brian, that's the one and only way. Myself, Professor Brian, Jake William, and Ryan Jacob will be making our way to base two. Francesca, if you ever wake up and see this, I'm so sorry. There's nothing we could have done. We had to leave. If you ever do, I left you some supplies in the storage room. The door code has been changed to 6871. It was against the professor's orders, but I couldn't keep you locked up just like we left Philip. I believe you will wake up, and if you do, then we will meet at base two. Try and make your way to us. 
Goodbye. Damn, bro. Shit. What's her name? Alicia's a real one, bro. That's the homie, bro. Okay, so we gotta head back to the story room. We and the others went to base too. Oh no, that explains why nobody's here. Oh my god, I have to try and make my way to them through the void. We in, baby. Where's it? Oh, we got the valve wheel. Oh, we got a newer space suit, baby. We suit it up. Man. Yo, that thing is gone. I know there's something in here, bro. Oh my god, bro. What the hell is that? What the hell is that thing? Yo. What the hell? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hi, bro. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do, but I'm doing it. I'm scared to even talk. What the hell was that thing? I better stay quiet. I have to get to base two as soon as possible. Crazy. What is that? That's footsteps, bro. <whistles> How'd I whistle? Long walkways, bro. That scared me. What? Yo, this game is going to be quite the journey. Okay, so the orange is water. Orange carrots are the main noise was the top. Help. What's that green thing? A scanning oh. turret. What is this doing here? Maybe the crew must have been through here. I have to find a way to open that gate. Alright guys, that was part one of the voidness. If you guys liked it, please leave a like, consider subscribing, and so in the meantime, for the next part. Watch one of these videos on my left or on my right. And until then, peace.